The events of World War I affected the lives of all who lived through them. A century later, people around the world are discovering ways to engage with the history of the Great War. In Wales, we have a wonderful collection of archives, each one telling the story of how global conflict affected small communities across the country and how ordinary people coped in extraordinary times. Mae fe'n greit i bobl dod i archifau i ffindio mas am y Rhyfel Byd Cyntaf ar wahan i dibynnu ar teledu a cyfryngau ar lein ac yn y blaen, gan bod archifau yn cynnig profiad unigryw. Mae'n bosib dal dogfen nath gael eu greu yng nghyfnod y Rhyfel Byd Cyntaf, rhywbeth hollol unigryw sydd yn mi gael unrhyw le arall yn y byd. Y material in the archive is very local. Um, there's hardly a parish that's uh, not got something here relating to its involvement in the First World War. For example, you will have uh, uh, school logbooks from many of the schools giving details of how the war uh, affected life uh, for the school children. What's fantastic about that document is that it is distinctive and unique to that village. It tells us something about the, the school at the heart of the community, uh, the building of which is, is still standing, the current inhabitants of the village can realise what actually went on. The archives are packed with information relating to their local area, allowing you to discover your own connection to the war. The information you get through maybe TV or um, more formal channels doesn't give you that personal story that you can get from archival collections um, and I think that really gives an extra dimension and it enables you to relate you know, a worldwide event of major significance like the war to your own community and your own family um, in a way that you can't get really just by going through more ordinary public history channels. Sometimes you find little snippets of gold dust uh, in things that appear to be totally boring and of no value. Newport Council Parks and Cemetery Committee minutes from the First World War you think would have nothing of, of any interest and yet they have references to, for example, the attempts to grow food in the parks because people were on the edge of starvation. When you go down to the individual level you'll find there are a multitude of different experiences of different opinions. And that comes back to what is distinctive about archives. It opens up that door into the local story. To find out more about the archives near you and how to discover your own local history, visit archiveswales.org. Thank mm -hmm. you.